Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Evoque, then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's got keyless entry, keyless go, rear privacy glass, sill protectors, piano black grills in the side and bonnet, plastic wheel arch protectors, multi-spoke horseshoe alloys, the 360 camera system, high pressure headlamp wash, blind spot warning indicators, full glass panoramic roof, integrated rear tailgate spoiler with a double shark fin aerial, reversing camera, reversing sensors, twin chrome exhaust tips, power open, power close tailgate, Isofix rear channel seat anchor points, rear center armrest, and uh, just, just a beautiful car. So that's the key, it's keyless go, so long as you've got the key on you, foot on the brake and click the start button. That's it, bursts into life. Just tell you the service history. Fourteenth of the twelfth, two thousand and seventeen, at sixteen thousand five hundred and ninety-three miles, Beadles Land Rover, eighteenth of the fifth, two thousand and eighteen, at twenty one thousand six hundred and forty eight miles, Beadles Land Rover, twentieth of the fifth, two thousand and twenty one, at forty four thousand nine hundred and ninety six miles, F Taylor and Sons Chorley. 27th of 6, 2022, at 51,949 miles, or to fit Chorley. And we'll do it again before it goes out. Now, good specification on this car. Um, <laughs> typically, it has the 360 cameras. Um, if we switch on the 360 cameras, there you go. It's showing one camera out. It's, it's a forward camera, and we have got it. I actually begrudge putting cameras on them because, as, as you know, if you watch my videos, these cameras here, they're inside a car, they're, they're in a case when, they're not, when I'm not using them, they're mollycoddled, they're supposed to be action cameras and you see them you know, going up and down mountains on motorbikes and, and on race cars and so on, and they're supposed to be very, very rugged and, and you know, like waterproof go outside in the snow. And even these cameras that are inside the car, um, they're, they're going wrong all the time. So how they expect cameras to be on the outside of the car in all sorts of temperatures, all sorts of weathers, vibrations, bumps, speed bumps, uh, being power washed, how they expect them to keep going, I'll never know. So it, what, what I really begrudge is, is buying a new camera when the the person we bought this car off didn't even know it had all round cameras he, he, when john showed him and said there's a camera out he didn't know he never used them and that's the case uh, of course everybody wants them working when it's a, a dealer paying for it but when it's out of their own pocket well, I, I never use those no you know no, i'm not i'm not getting another one of those so anyway it, it's Part of me would rather not do it because uh, I think it's a waste, but that, that's just me. Anyway, let's back to the car. It's got, we'll, we'll do the electric memory seats, uh, Russian roulette. So position one, I haven't changed anything. So position one, that, there's position one. Position two, yeah. Looks like it could be a knee crusher. All right, so that's position two. Position three. Actually, position three is not that bad. So all you do, set your seat like so. Set your door mirrors where you want them. So you can see where you're going and what's behind you. And then, not quite right, I need. Got lumbar support there as well. So memory, click the M, click the one, that's it, that's it saved. So we'll, we'll get going. We've got height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel too. So I'm gonna get that back down a bit further. We're in drive and uh, need to be further away and we'll get going <clears throat> 
got blind spot warning indicators which I always say fantastic accessory it's uh, if, if not for yourself for the poor motorbike who's just about to overtake you and you're gonna knock him off so that's a great accessory all the great accessory this has got is uh, heated front screen heated seats very very good looking four-wheel drive these um, in my opinion the best shape on the market for this size of vehicle drive superb you'll have seen the storms that uh, in the UK that we've had I forget what it's called the, I think it begins with a B we have that many storms I can ne never remember the names but there's a, a place at I think it's Inchcape at Stoke Stafford has been flooded and everybody's going on online about oh Land Rovers you know they're in this big virtual lake and you know what if if it wasn't Land Rovers and Range Rovers I think they'd all be written off, but it's Land Rover and Range Rover, and a, a Range Rover will go through water up to 35 inches deep. So hopefully they're, they're not written off because these are these are proper cars. They're built for inclement weather. They're built to get you anywhere through anything, unlike GoPros, of course. And. Uh, get you to the end of your journey with a, a smile on your face and also comfortable and this this the best accessory ever heated steering wheel <laughs> it, it's like it's heaven it really is it's got meridian speakers I must remember to show you the blind spot warning lights which we'll see as soon as somebody tries to overtake us. Nice, comfortable sports seats. The kind of contrast stitching on the dash here. Got sat nav, Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. I think we've also got, I'll just go along there, yeah, ambient lighting. So you can change all the, the lighting from all those different colors. And the, the brightness. Just watch out here now, no doubt somebody will overtake. And yet they haven't. Oh, look what we've got in front. Range Rover Evoke. We're in drive at the moment, can click into sport, press that down, like so. You've got command shift here, so I can change down from the paddle shift on the steering wheel. Drive is fine for me. Got lane departure warning. Stupid idea. <coughs> you can knock that off from this switch here. see there a car going by so that's a blind spot warning indicator or the don't pull out baz button I'll show you how to delete a mobile pair a mobile stream music from a mobile and set the sat nav Uh, a light change. The dog's thanking her for that one. It's got traffic signal recognition, telling me how fast I can go in the what speed limit it is. Nice clear dash on Range Rovers. A 
rosas. So, speedo on the left, rev counter on the right, information display in the center, traffic signal recognition in the top left, in the middle, digital speedo, top right, outside air temperature, the bottom, you've got mileometer, what gear you're in, the moment it's telling me how many miles to empty but I can change by pressing this it's telling me how I'm driving date how many miles I've done average miles per hour average miles per gallon instantaneous miles per gallon back to the how many miles before I have to fill up the, middle left your coolant temperature middle right your fuel gauge it's all nice and clear got mode there change mode change tracks increase your volume over this side cruise control on that's it cruise control on don't get any better or any easier than that can increase clicking there like so and decrease like so if you press the brake it'll stop the cruise control but you can then resume I just cancel that there so that's off but if I click resume it goes back to the speed you set it before all very very easy half folding door mirrors and there you go it's showing us the blind spot warning indicator again great system wipers on the right so that one is delay, that's slow, that's fast. Pull the lever towards you, squirts the screen. If you've got your headlamps on, it will squirt the headlamps too. Only the first time you do it, and then probably every 10 other ones, something like that. That's rear wash wipe. really nice to drive as I say weather like this when you're in a Range Rover or Land Rover doesn't bother you you know you're in the best car you can really get to the conditions the most comfortable car I'll, uh, I'll pull over in a in a second. Beautiful defender there. We do fairly well with jeeps as well, but you know you you, you certainly can tell the the difference between a jeep and a, a Range Rover. Jeeps feel a, a little bit agricultural. And the Range Rover and Land Rover just feel like they were built around you.
we'll see if we've got enough space in this little lay-by. You'd have thought they might have given that a bit of a wash. Looks like somebody's actually bumped into it since yesterday. Okay, I'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this 2016 Range Rover Evoque. So we go into settings, onto Bluetooth, watching out at the bottom, over to the system, we'll click the phone, just knock that off, click search new, vehicle to device, searching, watching out at the bottom, Barry's iPhone 13 Pro, click on that to pair and connect phone, enter 3050. So keypad's come up, 3050 pair. Allow contacts and favourites to sync, allow. Connecting to Barry's iPhone 13 Pro. And it'll be Range Rover connected, that's it done. Okay, I'll just show you how to stream audio. Uh, from your phone through the Bluetooth audio system in this 2016 Range Rover Evoque. So at the moment, the phone's paired. We go to music, click on music, click on play. That's playing, it's showing there Range Rover Evoque. If I click on the bottom there, there's a, a tick next to Range Rover. If there's not, just tick it. We'll go back. It's playing. I'm going to turn it up. Then if we have this set properly, any sound, any audio that comes through your phone, that's playing on your phone, will come through the speakers in the Range Rover. So now we go to the clapperboard and the music note, click on that. It's, it, it's on radio, we need to go to my music. I'll just turn that down. You will notice at the moment, next to my music, there's no plus, so sometimes it doesn't show up, so you click my music. Now it's source and there's a plus. Click plus and then you select Bluetooth. When I turn this up now. So that's how you play music. Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system in this Range Rover Evoque 2016 model. Um, at the moment we're on sat nav. If we click the telephone button, there's nothing connected. It just it comes up with devices that you could connect to or you could delete. You'll see there, the only one at the moment is my phone there and there's delete. Click delete. Delete by his iPhone 13 Pro, yes. That's it, gone. Okay, I'll, I'll just show you how to set the sat-nav in this 2016 uh, Range Rover Evoque. From any screen, you see here the little arrow in the circle. You can either press that. If you go to home, you've got the, the sat-nav there. If I click on there, sat-nav comes up. Alternatively, if I click on there, again, the sat-nav comes up. And you've got destination entry. So destination entry, we want postcode. We're Grosvenor Garage, Blackburn Road, Hale Walton, Preston, P, R, 5. The Range Rover system, even though it's got two digits, you don't need to put a dash in. Some you do, or a space. So it's PR54EA, that's it, we click OK, and then we click Go. Please follow the highlighted route. That's it, it's as simple as that. And the, another good thing with this system is, once you get near enough home and you don't want to give you instructions anymore, it's a lot simpler than other systems to, to knock the voice off. All you have to do, go to the home screen, and you see there, there's a chequered flag with a red line through it. We click on that. Guidance cancel. That's it. Dead, dead easy, dead simple. Range Rover. Perfect. Everything about them. Lovely car.
another one of John's great buys. We like Friends Red. Just, just very nice. Nice tidy car. Quite warm today. Just gonna get the air conditioning on. Although it's throwing it down, it's warm. Having said that, I've got the heated seat on. <laughs> Front centre armrest there. In there, you have USB aux in, power socket. And we've got lumbar support, the circular control at the back there. again we're coming past Crookbrook a nice display of old Land Rovers you can't wear them out unlike car salesmen it's a um, great car here you've got your telephone controls over on this side click on there your information display in the center that gives you a different menu that's in driver assistance press OK to open up so click OK and you've got forward alert lane keep assist which there's no ticking at the moment because I've knocked it off through the switch there but you can also knock it off here blind spot monitor I've, I have no idea why anybody would possibly want to knock that off but you can do there reverse traffic detection when you're reversing out tells you if anything's coming driver fatigue alert again if you don't know you're tired I'm not sure you're gonna take any uh, notice of A warning from your car. Traffic sign recognition alert. Click on that. So that's off. 80 limit plus 5, 80 limit plus 10. We'll go off there. <coughs> Trip computer. Display settings. Click on display settings. Digital speedo, miles per hour, kilometres per hour, temperature units, info panel, and vehicle information. We'll just click that. Tire pressures, click OK. It's telling me tire pressures all around there. Everything you could possibly need and lane departure warning. Okay, well my cameras have started to overheat now. As I was saying before about the, the you know, the cameras in the car. Those are inside and they're overheating. So, uh, I'll finish the test drive there. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video, which will no doubt be another either Land Rover or Range Rover. Thanks for watching. Ta-da.